Good day, RK Figs here. So I keep getting asked, how come I get figs on my fig trees and then the season ends and I never get them to ripen? How come when we see your videos, we see your figs ripening? And then I also get asked, how come the cuttings I get from you seem to make it and some other cuttings that I get from here and there never seem to make it? And the secret is, keeping your tree healthy. Keeping your tree healthy and giving it the proper vitamins and nutrients that it needs are the key to getting your figs to ripen in the short period of time that they need to ripen in and also keeping your tree healthy. So to do this in our climate is a little bit more challenging than doing it somewhere where it's a little bit warm. This is why I always mention in my videos that I offer a unique perspective on growing figs because I live in a very cold region. This differs greatly from people living down south where the region is much warmer and have a longer season. For example, if I lived in say California where the weather is very ideal, I would never ever fertilize my fig trees with these chemical fertilizers that you see here, okay? These chemical fertilizers actually hurt your planting medium. They rob it of all kinds of nutrients and they contain certain salts. Something very organic like this tomato tone is phenomenal. This fer fish fertilizer is incredible. Bone meal, chicken manure. These are amazing things for your fig trees, okay? Even this Epsom salt right here, fantastic. However, in our short season, these nutrients are not gonna be absorbed in a fast enough way for our trees to properly develop their figs. They're very healthy for the tree and the tree does really well, but they're not gonna give it the boost that it needs to ripen its figs in our short season. What can we do? Well, these chemical fertilizers here give whatever the tree needs, it gives it that kick, it gives it that boost so that it can ripen the figs in time, but it does hurt the soil and no matter how good the engineering is of these chemical fertilizers, no matter how much nutrients they say they're giving the tree, you're always going to be missing something that comes from natural fertilizers, okay? The natural fertilizers, like, like this fish, fish fertilizer. I mean, God knows what these fish are eating and ingesting. What they do to make this is they grind up all this fish guts and fish bones and and they turn it into the smelliest most disgusting thing you can ever smell but guess what when you pour it in your planting medium your figs roots soak that up and they absolutely love it and this thing is actually amazing for almost anything you can think of okay but you have to bear the smell all right this tomato tone as well God knows what they put in here. All these natural ingredients, okay? But the thing smells disgusting too, as a lot of natural stuff does, but it's it's phenomenal. It, it, it really helps the fig trees, okay? So what do I do? I give my fig trees a healthy mix of both. I give them the best of both worlds. So they get the benefit of that kickstart in my short growing season and they get the benefit of having that beautiful health that they're going to get from having the natural fertilizers okay and before we start i've explained this before in in many of my videos okay there are always on every fertilizer you buy there are always three numbers to consider okay We'll take this. Uh, we'll take this here, Miracle Grow, uh, 
fertilizer, and this here has 18, 18, 21. So the first number represents the nitrogen, the second number represents the phosphorus, and the third number represents the potassium. So what do these three numbers mean? Well, I've heard this uh, saying out there that, that really will help a lot of you remember, and that's up, down, and all around. So up is the first number, which is the nitrogen, which helps your leaves and your growth and kickstarts your trees, okay? So this is re a really good number if you're looking for a lot of leaves, a lot of green, uh, lush, uh, I don't know, things like maybe lettuce or uh, trees that, it, uh, that you're growing for beautiful leaves and foliage. That nitrogen is phenomenal. So that's up and then you got down. Down is the middle number, and that's actually for your fruit development, for your fruit ripening. So, for example, with our fig trees, yeah, we want them to grow in the beginning of the season, but we don't want to keep growing leaves. Actually, having too much nitrogen in your soil may prevent your tree from putting on fruit. And a lot of people experience that problem. You got too much nitrogen in your soil. You need to kick up your phosphorus and reduce your nitrogen in the soil. And then the third number all around is the overall health of your tree. That number has a lot of uh, things in there that uh, will, will give your roots a lot of health, okay? And these three numbers, up, down, all around, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, are called the macronutrients, are what your trees need the most. It's like the most thing that's the most important. However, we also have what's called our micronutrients, which are all these other things that your tree needs. So a lot of people will say, I don't understand. My tree looks healthy. You know, it's, it's doing what it needs to do, but it's just not doing this. Or the leaves look a little bit weird, or the fruit tastes weird, or is developing weird. Well, that just means that your tree might be missing one of the micronutrients, okay? Things like calcium, magnesium, all these things are very important, okay? And while these chemical fertilizers try to cover that, they just don't do a good of a job. Some of those natural ones just they didn't even mean to contain those micronutrients, but they're in there naturally, okay? So what do I do? What's my secret? My whole entire year is combined with both. But I start off my season going a little bit high in the nitrogen. Why? Why do I go high in the nitrogen? Well, take a look at my fig trees. They're still dormant. And the main reason of that is the actual weather. It's still too damn cold, even though we're in my greenhouse here. Okay. But another reason for that is they're looking for some nitrogen. When things do warm up, they're gonna look for that nitrogen to give them that kick and get them going, okay? So what contains nitrogen? Well, if you look at this miracle Grow All Purpose that everybody seems to always use and think that it is good for everything, okay, which it's not. Uh, this, this is good for a lot of green leaves and green growth, but not for fruit. Take a look, the nitrogen here is 24, and then you got the middle number is eight. Eight is a, is a lower number than the previous fertilizer I showed you was 18, okay? So it was a more balanced fertilizer. So I start my, my year off for the first, like right now, I've already given these trees a dose of, of this, and I never go full strength. So if you look here, it says mix, in four liter, one gallon of water, which is four liters, mix one of their scoops. They have like a little little spoon in here. So what I do is I I do half of that spoon, and I go a little bit more than the than the one gallon. I go a little bit above the one gallon, and I do half the spoon. Okay, and then instead of doing that once, I'll do it twice. So once every so because here they're saying seven to fourteen days, I go every seven. Every seven days, half a dose. I do that for the first month, okay? And then after that, that's it. This guy, he's retired. We don't need him anymore. 
What I do then is I move to this, okay, which is the one I was showing you before. It's a more balanced fertilizer. It gives the tree an equal number of nitrogen and an equal number of potassium and a high dose of the phosphorus for the overall health of the tree, okay, which is, is the main thing for me. I want my trees to be really healthy. I want my cuttings to be really healthy. If I take an air layer from the tree, I want it to be healthy and I want my fruits to taste great and that comes from a healthy tree, okay? And what I do is I do this the same way as the other one, every seven days at half strength. Every seven days at half strength. But then I mentioned to you that I like to add a little bit of natural fertilizer to that, some natural nutrients. So what I do is I'll mix in a shot of this fish fertilizer, okay? Now, I know this is readily available in the States. It may not be readily available in Canada. Uh, if you live in my area and want some of this, send me a message. I can get you some. But otherwise, uh, you know, check out your local nursery. There are different kind of fish fertilizers that we have available in Canada. So I add this to, to the, the fertilizer there. And then what I do as well is every month or so, I'll put in a tablespoon of this Epsom salt. So Epsom salt is not like regular salt, obviously. You never want to put regular salt on your tree. This is actually has magnesium in it which gives the trees some magnesium and uh, it's got some other uh, micronutrients that uh, all kinds of plants love actually, even if you're growing tomatoes, cucumbers, anything. This is great. Then what I'll do is I will every 14 days, okay, 10 to 14 days, I will give my tree some of this tomato fertilizer. And this stuff is great, tomato tone. If you can get your hands on it, great. If you can't, you live in my area and you need some, let me know as well. I can, I can help you out. So this, if you look, the numbers are three, four, six. Very low compared to like a miracle grow uh, or, or some of those other chemical fertilizers. And that's why, you know, it, it's not gonna kick your trees the way that the other stuff does, but it's got tons of micronutrients. I bet you they didn't even know some of the micronutrients that are in here because it's all natural. It smells like just very bad as well. Not as bad as the fish fertilizer, but it smells pretty bad, okay? And what I do just to save myself is I add in some bone meal. So I'll take one of these containers, okay? And I'll put a, a cup of that tomato fertilizer, uh, that tomato tone, and I'll put a, a tablespoon of this bone meal. And I will put in a tablespoon of this limestone, okay? Your fig tree loves limestone. And so I make sure to add a little bit of limestone every 14 days with the tomato cone and the bone meal, okay? So I'll take a container like this and I will grab a cup like this, okay? And I'll scoop some of the tomato tone, uh, an empty container, right? I'll scoop some of the tomato tone, pour it in here, I'll take a tablespoon of the bone meal, put it in here. I'll take a tablespoon of the limestone and put it in here, okay? And I even uh, do half a tablespoon of this chicken manure, okay? And so for every, every cup of the tomato tone, I'll add a, a tablespoon of bone meal and then a tablespoon of limestone and a half a tablespoon of the chicken manure, okay? And this way, my trees are getting both the chemical to give them the kick they need, but at the same time, we're not robbing them of the natural fertilizer, okay? And then what I will also do 
right in the middle of the summer when I'm really trying to push those uh, those fruits to to ripen, I'll go around to each of my tree and I'll put like somewhere between half a cup to a full cup, depending on the pot size of the bone meal on top, okay? Then we got this bloom booster here where there's a lot of controversial opinions about it. Some people believe that such a high dosage of the phosphorus doesn't really make a difference because the plant can't absorb that much in one time. But some feel strongly about it and that it does make a big difference. Personally, I feel that you're not going to lose by using it. So what I do is I alternate. Every seven days, I'll use the tomato. And every other seven days, I'll use the bloom booster in the chemical fertilizers. There you have it. That is what I do for my fig trees. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, please share it with anybody you know that may be interested in growing figs. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment uh, if you need anything. Um, I have links in, my, in the description of the video to most of this stuff. Okay, so if you live in the States, uh, there are links on Amazon.com. If you live in Canada, uh, you go down to have Amazon.ca links as well. Uh, so you will be able to get everything uh, you need from there. And uh, that's pretty much it. I will leave you with a view of some of my different figs here that uh, are starting, their buds are starting to break. Okay, what is this here? This is uh, my sucret. Very delicious figs come off of this tree. And you could see uh, some Brebas forming. The Brebas on this tree are absolutely delicious. Uh, we got Ronde de Bordeaux over here that uh, is starting to go as well. That's a nice early variety. And I got some new ones here. This is a, a Greek fig that I've been told about. And uh, I was told that it's absolutely delicious. So I can't wait to try that out. My most anticipated fig of the year is Pintasilga. Okay, this one is from Portugal. It was sold to me as something else. And uh, I tasted the figs last year and was blown away. So I'm really looking forward to them this year. Del Monte, I was told a lot about, very excited. LSU Hollier. Vern's Brown Turkey, a delicious fig. Nothing to do with regular brown turkey. I always say, I don't know why they called it brown turkey in the name. I think it was probably mistaken for a brown turkey. And uh, then we got our ground bags here, which uh, some of them may go back in the ground bag and some of them may go straight in the ground. That's going to be an interesting video coming up. Stay tuned for that. All right. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.